Hey guys, it's me Janelle, and for this week's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So, I recently bought two Kylie Jenner lip kits, but one of them is real and one of them is fake. So, I'm going to be showing you guys the differences between the real Kylie Jenner lip kit and the fake one within packaging, swatches, and how it wears on your lips. So, if you guys can't get your hands on a real one or just don't feel like spending all the money, I'll be showing you guys all of the differences between the two. So let's get into this video. So first, let's talk about pricing. So the real Kylie Jenner lip kit is $29 and with shipping, it totals out to be almost $40 and that's kind of insane for a Kylie Jenner lip kit. And the fake one is a lot different. I got mine for $3.75 in free shipping. So the prices are a lot different. So now let's talk about packaging. So the real one is actually like, I guess it's like metallic, but this one is just like a print off. So this one looks a lot real and the colors are just a teeny tiny bit different. You can't really tell like on camera, but on packaging the colors are a little bit different. And the real one is packaged a lot neater and comes with more protection like in the box but this one just has like a layer of bubble wrap in the like little bag it comes in so it isn't very well packaged now for the box i don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell but the real one is i think it's a little bit like bolder i guess just, you can definitely tell that the fake one is just like a scan of the real one. So now let's get on into the products. So as I'm opening them, I'm just going to put a little piece of painter's tape on the fake one because I don't want to get them mixed up. Okay, so I have opened them up and I have put tape on the fake ones just so I don't get them mixed up because at first when I was opening them and comparing them, I completely got them mixed up and I almost put the wrong like lip liner in the packaging so I don't want to get them mixed up so okay so let's just start comparing the lip liners so the fake one is a lot taller than the real one and the color is very different I'm not really sure if you guys can tell but it is a lot different as for um handwriting on here the real one is just a little bit thicker where it says this shade. I never even told you guys what shade it is. It's Posey K. You guys can probably tell by now, but I never said that in my show. So, yeah, it's just a little bit thicker on the real one. And now with opening them up. So, the real one I've used, like, a few times. So, looking at these, they do look pretty similar. It's just that the fake one is a tiny bit taller. And now for the lipstick tubes. So, holding them, the real one is a little bit heavier than the fake one. Okay, looking at the bottom, they are pretty similar. I can't tell. Sorry, it's not really focusing, but I can't tell anything like off the bat of them not being similar. So, um, along with the shade, they look a tiny bit different. I don't think you can tell on camera either, but, um, as of, like, font, you can definitely see that the font is, like, bolder on the fake one, so it looks a little bit different, but with the drips and everything, it looks pretty much the same. There's, like, a tiny little opening, like, right here. But yeah, now let's move in to the applicators. So I'm just going to open both of these up. So looking at these, they look pretty similar. I mean, the applicator shape is a little bit different, but going along with the applicator, they look pretty much the same. So... Now for scent, this one, the fake one, you can definitely, so, you can definitely tell that it is trying to smell like the real ones. It smells very artificial, but the real ones smell delicious. They just smell like cupcakes, and they are very strong, but very delicious. Like, they just smell like 
the kitchen and it's so good. So I absolutely love the smell of this and this one you can tell it's trying to smell like cupcakes but it's just not doing the best job. So now that we've got like the packaging done let's move on into the swatches. So I'm going to start off with the lip liners. I'll do the fake one and then the real one. So this is what the fake swatch looks like. It is very pigmented and very creamy. And now for the real one. Wow, that's a big difference. Oh, yeah. You guys can definitely see that. That does not look anything alike. I mean, the fake one is a pretty color, but it just looks nothing like the real one. Okay, so now for the liquid lipsticks. Okay, so going along with this, the this is the fake one, and this looks nothing like the lip liner. It actually looks more like the real lip liner, so maybe these two will look pretty similar. Wow, okay. These look almost identical, wow. But the lip liner is completely off. But I'd say the lipstick with the real lip liner is perfect. So yeah, they do look pretty similar. And now I'm just going to see how they wear on the lips. So I'm going to do half of my lips with the fake and half of my lips with the real. And the reason I'm not going to do like top and bottom is because I'm just like way worse at putting lipstick on the top than I am at the bottom. So it is going to look a little different. So just to be completely fair, I'm going to split my lips down the middle. So I don't line like all of my lips. I just do the outside. And I'm not good at lining my lips at all. So you can definitely tell though that they are two different colors from like just the liner. So, now I'm just going to apply the liquid lipstick and see how much of a difference you can tell. Okay, so I have it on now and I really suck at applying liquid lipstick, so don't judge me. But, they look pretty similar to me. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they look almost exactly the same. So, um, when I close my lips... Um, the fake one, like, sticks together a little bit, and the real one, it just kind of feels like, it honestly feels like you're not wearing anything, and I saw that the fake one dried a little bit faster than the real one, but I'm just gonna let it dry for, like, five more minutes, and then I'm gonna do, like, like, a kiss test, and maybe, like, a rubbing test, and, like, I'll eat or something, and see which one works better or if they work the same. So when you do a kiss test on your hand, nothing comes off on either side, but when I rub my hand against my lips, some of it does come off on both sides. So I would say if you don't want to spend the money, you should definitely try a fake one because they do work mostly as well as the real one. And I'm not going to do like an eating or drinking test because this video will be like 20 minutes long. But yeah, overall I say if you guys would like to try one and you don't have the money, definitely try a fake one. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I'm probably going to do like an 100 layers video with the fake one. So if you guys would like to see that, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.